I am sorry for having kept you waiting so long. Uh, despite the fact that we were not allowed to work in theatres, there was a lot to do. And most of it I can't really talk about because due to the pandemic, premieres have been shifted and I shouldn't actually talk about stuff that hasn't been out to public already. So let's try. Today we're not talking about projections in particular, but about something that has to do with these things. Usually in a production, I am the guy with the computer. So this guy you ask when things get too complicated. I don't know why, because I'm not particularly good at programming and I barely know how this computer works, but here we are. It is freezing cold in Linz. Yes. <laughs> Let's do the camera conspiracies crossing. Come on! So, um, this is the new music theatre in Linz. It is quite an impressive building, but even more impressive is what's inside. So we're going inside to learn about a system that simulates what happens on stage. So it's the ultimate wet dream of stage designers to see what's happening before you can actually see it in real life on stage. Let's see if that works out. The system we're looking at is called First Stage and it's a collaboration between the University of Bremen, the Theatre in Linz, uh, Movie Storm and some other companies that joined their forces to create a system that makes it possible to preview a stage design before it's being built on stage. This should help stage designers to develop their stages to the needs and the possibilities of the theater. So that room actually is where people who learn theater can train as like a flight simulator for a theater. So they have everything at hand and when somebody learns how to do lights, they can learn how to do lights without molesting people. And now I'm just going back. <laughs> it's a great system. It's a great system. It's a great system if you know what you're doing. Unfortunately, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> So it doesn't work for us because it needs to be feeded with the stage. So yeah. we would need to have the whole stage there, but they only fed this gigantic stage into it. So yeah, it's going back to Blender. Things got a little too complicated for a model. So Florian asked me to build something virtual that we can use to show changes on the stage and how the stage would work if things do complex movements. And we did quite a good simulation of the whole thing, but for a flat screen. And then I thought I'd get things a little further by using virtual reality like they did in Linz. Virtual reality became really affordable by using these things. This was 12 euros in a shop nearby and you place your mobile phone in here and put it in front of your face and with these glass lenses you can focus on it. The whole thing is a little difficult to set up but once you know how it works um, those things allow you to look around in a space that doesn't exist in real life. Basically you create a camera, place it somewhere on eye level around where people will be during your set rehearsal make the camera panoramic with an equi-rectangular output. And then you set the render size to something that is two by one. In this case, let's try 4,000 by 2,000. Then under stereoscopic, you choose stereo 3D and start to render your images. They look a bit odd at the beginning. This is because of the view that you have. You can change this by toggling up here and the result will look all bendy. Of course, there are plenty more things you can adjust in these 360 degrees 3D images, 
But let's go for the basics here. Uh, Google Render 3D 360 Blender and uh, you might end up with some tutorials that are more in-depth and more knowledgeable than I am. When you're saving the images, depending on the app, you will be asked to either save individual images or stereo 3D most times in top-bottom arrangements. Once you've transferred the files to your phone, you open up the app and load the files into the app, put your phone inside the glasses and now you can view what you did in real life without it being built in some workshop. Of course, this is only a very rudimentary solution to a problem that can be solved far more elegant with bigger hardware and more money. But as this thing, by the way, I'm not sponsored by Base Tech, I just picked the cheapest thing I could find at the shop around the corner. This was 12 euros. And thus is the most affordable solution to view things in real life before actually building them. If you like these vlogs, well then, subscribe to my channel down below and I'll be seeing you next time.